Today's activity is called Shuttle Divisions. And the aim of this activity is to quickly run around and get to the correct numbered cone and back before the other teams. So for this game, you're going to need four or five small cones. That's the cone for each team. You're also going to need 10 tall cones. Now your teacher's going to print out numbers 1 to 10. And each of those tall cones needs one of those numbers stuck to them. So each tall cone needs a number between 1 and 10. To set up this game, it's pretty simple. Your teacher's going to divide you into groups of four or five different teams. And each team lines up behind a starting small cone at one end of the playing area or sports hall. So you can see that everyone's lined up ready to go. Out in the rest of the area are going to be placed those tall cones with the numbers attached to them. So you can see they're spread out randomly, not in order, all around the rest of the sport area. So to play this game, it's very, very simple. Your teacher is going to call out a division question. Now you have to work out the answer to that question and you have to run around the cone and back. So you have to run around the cone, which is the number, which is the answer to that question. So for example, if the teacher was to call out 40 divided by five, the answer would be eight. And so the first player in each team would quickly work that out, run around that cone and go back to their team. So here we go. The teacher calls out 40 divided by five. They work it out, it's number eight. They have to quickly run around it and back as fast as they can. Now your teacher might give out different points for the team that comes first, second, third and fourth. That's up to your teacher and your class. Once you've had your go, you go to the back of the line and the next player in your team gets ready to go. So that's the division questions. After you've done lots of different goes of that, your teacher then might switch it up. And this time, your teacher is going to give you a larger number. And you have to work out the multiples that multiply together to make that number. So this time, you're gonna to be touching two different cones. You're gonna to be touching two different numbers that multiply together, make that larger number that your teacher calls out. So for example, if your teacher was to call out 27, then you have to work out what multiplied by what equals 27. So the answer in this one would be the number nine and the number three, because three multiplied by nine is 27. So I'll just show you with one person here, this red boy, he works it out. He goes and touches nine, then touches three, and then comes back. But everyone would do that. So that's the division of multiples. Now, sometimes there are some numbers that might have different multiples. So for example, the number 24, it could equal three times eight, or it could also be four times six. So there might be a few numbers that could have two different combinations. So that's the division in multiples. And there's actually some different ways that your teacher might play this with you. They might use it using sporting equipment. So this time, each time, maybe each team has a hockey stick and ball and you have to dribble the ball around the cone and back. Maybe you have to bounce a ball with a tennis racket and ball. You have to bounce it along the ground up into the cone that is the numbered answer and back. Maybe each team has a soccer ball and you have to quickly dribble around the correct cone and back. Maybe you have to bounce a basketball up there and back. Maybe each team has an American football. You have to carry it under one arm and you have to sprint as fast as you can. Or maybe even simply, you just have to hop on one foot all the way to the correct cone and back. So I hope everyone has fun today. It's an awesome, simple game and good luck out there. Thanks for checking out Prime Coaching's Learning Through Sport resource pack. 
In this resource pack, you're gonna get five whole class P activities. They're innovative and engaging, and you're gonna be able to use the mathematics that you've taught throughout the year within these activities. So each of the games is going to come with a complete gameplay and setup sheet with very clear instructions. There's also worksheets for each activity for the students to do. Score sheets, so individual score sheets when they play their games and record their results. And there's also an online video for every activity so you can show that to your class and they'll be able to see exactly what the activity looks like and the mathematics that is required of them. So for your grade threes, you'll be reinforcing and integrating the common core standards for fractions, multiplication, division, record keeping, time, shapes, perimeters, and integrating mathematics in different ways in a context-based learning environment. So this pack is a great way for some hands-on active learning with your students, and there's really no other resources out there quite like it. So if you're really looking to bring excitement to your mathematic lessons, as well as teaching PE at the same time, this learning through sport pack is just for you.